Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to the channel, Mr. Reef Buster. I'm your host, Monty. Today, we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and a quick review of the Synchro Silent um, water pump. Uh, as you can see, this is, um, this is a 2.0 version, rated for up to 568 uh, gallons per hour. Um, we're going to look outside the box, dive inside, see what it comes with. I purchased this uh, from Marine Depot. For those of you who are interested, um, the price I paid was $96.99. Um, so let's dive into it. Let's look in the box and dive inside and see what we get with the new uh, the Synchro uh, Silent uh, by CJ. So here we gonna here we go. Let me just let's get the box up close so you guys can take a look at it. Now application for this pump could be anything. Um, you can use it um, uh, for for your sump refugium. You can. Uh, you do wet and dry application. Now the good thing about this pump is you get a five-year guarantee. Um, and also it comes with a self-cleaning uh, lubricated impeller. So that's another plus. And the important thing, the main reason people get the CJ Synchro is because it's silent, as it's in part of the name. So let's look around the box. So here they're showing you a couple of different applications you can use it for. You can use it, you know, uh, to move water around your tank, for a fountain, for a protein skimmer. Um, me, I'm going to be using this for my biopellet reactor, my phosphan reactor that I have. And the reason I went um, with, with, an, with this pump, because the pump that it, my reactor came with, it wasn't really strong. The pellets would not move... Well, only the pellets on the top would move and not the ones on the bottom. You want all the pellets to be moving. Not strong, but moving. So this way, the water can pass through and the pellets can do their job. So the pump it came with, I mean, I have the valve open and it wasn't moving much. So that's why, and that pump was 320 gallons per hour. So with this being... Um, 568 gallons per hour I should be able to get decent movement for my uh, Fosban reactor so let's go ahead and open her up and see what we get inside now I haven't opened this yet so I'll be unboxing it with you guys so bear with me for a moment alright so First thing we get are some tabs, or like yeah, they look like some type of tabs. Probably the foot, and then we get some plumbing and some suction cups. Let's put that aside. box everything out of the box let's put that aside and okay so important things some quality control paperwork your manual for those of you who are interested tells you how to work it you guys can read it I'm not gonna go through that uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the pump So here's the pump. It's quite heavy. It's quite big. Let me give you guys the dimensions for this pump. Uh, it's 4.84 inch in length, 3.35 inch in width, and 4.13 in height. So, and this one is the 2.0 version, rated for up to 568 gallons per hour. Um, let me give you guys a max head for those of you who are interested. Uh, let me see. Let me see. The max head on this one is 6.5 inch um, in height. And the inlet is 3 quarter inch female and 3 quarter inch female outlet. So the inlet is, uh, this is the controller. And if you remove it, if you remove this whole front, you have the inlet right here. That's your inlet. So you can use this, but depending on the application you might not need 
to add any plumbing to the inlet it'll just if you're using a submerged submerged you don't have to worry about the inlet just worry about the outlet um, they give you the fittings so this way you can connect your tubing and plumbing whatever you like but if it if it does not work for you you might have to get your own so keep that in mind let's close this guy up and so right now up front first thing we're going to talk about is you have your controls uh, you can control how much uh, water flow you can get out of it um, pretty good ventilation all around and you have the logo in the back made in Italy now mine if you can see it's got a little scratches on it I'm not sure how probably would the, with the power outlet it could have done it uh, but I mean you have to scratch it pretty well it came scratched like this I just opened the box in front of you and for those of you that want to know the, the power specs uh, the electric specs on how much electricity it requires right here so pretty decent um, let's see how long the power cable is for those of you I don't know how far it is. Uh, very long cable. This is a very long cable. Um, decent enough. I mean, unless you are, uh, your outlet is more than 10 feet away, then you might have a problem. But other than that, you should be good to go. Um, let's open up the the fittings the bar fittings and see what we got inside okay so they do look about the same size yes so yeah so they give you two um three quarter inch um, bar fittings uh, if you want to do and if you want to have the one of the fittings on the inlet you could and the outlet but for my application I'm just gonna be only using one of these fittings for the outlet and my plumbing the tubing for the Fosman reactor is gonna go up top and so let's see and these are I'm assuming they go down here so these are the legs to keep it depending on how you want to mount it if you want to mount it on the side of a glass or if you want to keep it this looks more like if you want to mount it on the side of the glass so it gives it enough height so let's put it put the legs on and see how it stands with these legs on because they are kind of big but let's take a look Am I missing one? Uh, yeah. So as we can see with the the extended legs on it, it does sit up quite high. Now, I'm assuming the reason they did it this way because they want enough water flow going to the bottom. They don't want they don't want it sitting too close to the bottom. So if you like it, I, I'm going to leave it the way it is. Um, but if you don't want to use the longer ones, they do provide the smaller versions. I'm assuming these are for that. Uh, let me just double check. Now let me take one of these out and see what the application for these little tiny little tabs are. I'm trying to do this in one at one shot guys, so bear with me. Uh, yes so these are the tiny versions so if you want to just use if you don't want that height you can always put these on and then instead of these longer ones I'm gonna be using the longer ones because I'm gonna put this this is gonna go inside my sump um, so I don't want the debris or the sand or anything to go inside or up you know block the intake so that's it guys that was a quick little unboxing uh stay tuned i will be giving you guys a review and we're gonna i'm gonna show you guys this pump in action when i once i hook up my um Fosban reactor to this new pump so stay tuned uh just give me about a couple of minutes to set everything up and we'll be right back so now that we're in the 
some section of my tank. Uh, here you see the pump in action. Uh, the plumbing, uh, it's not finalized yet. This is just a little test run so I can show you guys the pump in action and see how it's doing. So we're going to follow the tubing down to my, the, my reactor. As you can see the pellets, they are moving, tumbling around. Not too much, but just a slight tumbling. Uh, it's a little bit better than the other pump it came with. I'm going to have to fine tune um, the output of that pump. Um, and hopefully I'll get a little bit more tumbling. Because I want them to move it on a little bit more, but not too much. So that's what I'm going for. Um, so that's it guys. Uh, let's go back up top and we'll finish up the rest of the video. And we got a lot more to talk about. Uh, about the future videos and all. So let's go back up top. Uh, keep watching. So as, after you guys saw the pump in action. Let's go ahead and close up this video. Um, so far I'm happy with the way the pump is functioning. Uh, it's still too early to give it a thumbs up or down on it. So I have to um, use it for a couple more weeks. To get, give you a definite answer. I will uh, give you let you guys know if I give this product a thumbs up or down. On a future video. So stay tuned. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Now is the time to subscribe. And hit the bell button. So you get notified when I upload new videos. If you like the video hit the like. If you have any questions or comments comment you know put it in the comment section below um i will be uploading a follow-up video for my project nano reef the new episode in about a week or so uh so stay tuned for that guys and you know thank you guys for watching the video i do appreciate you guys taking your time out hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day stay safe out there guys and happy reefing